In this video, I want to show you how to make and save a nice MATLAB graphic. So let's start off by developing some code to generate a graphic. I'll start off by defining some parameters to make things easy. Okay, so we're going to use 100 points and we're going to define an x vector. Now let's calculate a y vector. Now let's do some visualization. Okay, so I'm using the plot command. If I run this, it wants me to save the file. And then it runs it, and here is my result. I'm going to hit this little arrow, and I'll dock it just for convenience. Now, there's a plot. It's nice, but we can make it better. One thing I like to do is thicken the line. So I use line width, and I set it to 2. Right now it's 1.25 or 1.5 I believe by default. So if I run this, you can see it just thickens up the line. Another thing that's good I think for a lot of plots is to turn the grid on. See that happen. Okay, there's a grid. Another thing is I like to use a better font instead of the default. So I use set. There's a set function. The first argument is GCA for get current axes. That refers to this axis. And I will set its font name and font size. If we run that, I have a better looking font now. Maybe I'll even turn it up to 24. You'll see the font get bigger. Okay, now we need an X label and Y label. Every good axis should have this. So there's an X. Now we want it to look nicer than that, so I put in dollar signs to make it better. As I, I always say, this looks a bit ghetto, so we add the dollar signs to make it money. And then we put in here interpreter LaTeX. So that uses LaTeX syntax to interpret the label and it looks nicer. Like in a textbook, it's a variable X or something like that. Now, do the same thing for the Y axis. And there's my Y label. I'll also suppose that I want another piece of data. So let's make a Z. And then to plot multiple pieces of data in one plot, I can put X, Z here. What we'll do here is uh, just offset these like this. So this first set plots Y versus X and then Z versus X. And then I'm going to store the output of this plot function in a variable. So I can run this and uh, now I have two sets of data on one line or one plot, I should say. There might be a, another way to dress this up if, if you like. Um, I might want to set the second one to be uh, dashed, for example. So if I delete this semicolon, run that, the output says the data line is an array of two line objects. So I could do, go here and say uh, set data line two. So that's the second one. And let's put a uh, line style. Let's make it dashed. And watch what happens when I run this. So it becomes dashed. Now the other thing, now that we have two pieces of data, one Y label might not be good for both of them. So we might want to suppress the Y label and instead use an, a legend. So to do that, I'll put in here braces to specify the contents of the legend. So the first entry in the legend should be Y. The second one should be Z in dollar signs, and then we put interpreter LaTeX. And so this command will make a legend show up here. And by default, it shows up in the upper right. Uh, we could let MATLAB specify where it goes if we put here location best. Run that, and it picks a place where it doesn't cover up the data. So the last thing I want to show you here is how to save the plot. And to do this, we use the print command. We first specify a file name. I'm going to use EPS because that's one of the better ones for LaTeX. It's a very high quality publication quality graphic. And to do that, I use a printer type. And so I put DEPSC. That makes a EPS and C is for color. So it's a color EPS. 
Another thing we could do is save it as a JPEG. And here we put DJPEG. So now if I run this, you'll see that a couple new files show up here. So I got the sinusoid fig EPS and sinusoid fig JPEG. I can go back to Finder on my Mac. Okay, and here is that Finder window. And if I click the figures that saved, I can see, I can preview the EPS graphic. And I can preview the JPEG. As you can see, the EPS is actually a little bit clearer than the JPEG. The lines look a bit hazy, if you will. Okay, so that now is how you can generate a graphic and save it in different formats in MATLAB. And of course, if you want to learn more about this, you can type help print and then you'll see here all the various options you can use for the print command. Or if you want, you can use the documentation. This brings up the documentation browser and it's maybe a little bit more user friendly and easier to read. Uh, the nice thing about the documentation is you can just take and copy and paste things here and then it'll create a graphic and then execute those commands. So we printed a JPEG, so let's see where that JPEG went. Surface plot. And there's the surface plot that MATLAB generated. All right, that should be enough to get you started. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.